Um, I'm Jared. Uh, I'm doing my claim speech on basically why dogs in the toy dog category are vastly inferior to just about every other breed in existence. Um, toy dogs, if you don't know, is in dog that's basically small, yippy, annoying. Um, Chihuahuas, Yorkshire Terriers, Pomeranians, those types of dogs. Uh, well, it's my opinion that they make really bad pets. Um, it, it has been shown that they're not nearly as healthy as other breeds of dogs. Uh, according to the ophthalmic, uh, the book Ophthalmic Disease and Veterinary Medicine, these dogs uh, have are more prone to eye infections due to their size and uh, lower ground clearance. A lot of dogs in this category also have secondary characteristics that make them even more prone to these infections, like how chihuahuas have bulging eyes that protrude pretty significantly, and uh, dogs such as the Yorkshire Terrier and the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel have a uh, second pair of eyelashes grow out of an abnormal location, and due to these characteristics combined with the low ground clearance, uh, they get all sorts of eye infections, anywhere from inflammation to corneal abrasions, corneal ulcers, and scarring. Uh, in addition to eye issues, according to the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals, uh, dogs in the toy dog category and miniature dog category face a higher rate of orthopedic conditions. In particular, they face uh, the left sitting patella, which is basically when the patella locks up, like it dislocates and the leg locks up like that. You've probably seen dogs do it before because it's pretty normal for about any dog to have that condition. But dogs in the toy dog category are very prevalent in this. Uh, the top two dogs in this category are the Pomeranian and the Yorkshire Terrier. 42.4% of Pomeranians have this issue, and 25.5% of Yorkshire Terriers have this issue. Uh, the next runner-up dog, I believe, has only 10% of the dogs have it, and most of the dogs fall between 1 and 10%. Uh, but the issues they're most notorious for are their dental issues due to their smaller jaw size. Uh, their teeth overcrowd very easily. They don't fall out normally, so unless proper dental care is maintained and like really maintained, like you really need to watch it, uh, They'll have a buildup of food and bacteria, uh, which will cause severe periodontal disease. Uh, but that's not so much the big issue as when the bacteria spreads to other parts of the body, which it usually does. It will usually go to the kidneys, the heart, so it will cause severe health issues for them, if not usually death. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the commonality and variety of ailments these dogs face, I feel, make them far inferior to other healthier breeds of dogs.